welcome to your Focus on Sports. I'm Holly Casina. And I'm Holden Wheeler. Fresno State football welcomed fans into Bulldog Stadium to watch the 2022 spring preview. Mark Anthony Lopez recaps what happened last weekend. The 2022 football season is officially underway as the Bulldogs welcome back fans inside Bulldog Stadium for the 2022 spring preview. The 2022 spring football preview gave fans a look at what this year's Fresno State football team will look like. Most notably is the return of head coach Jeff Tedford, who came out of retirement to return to the Bulldogs. We have an amazing uh, team as far as character kids who come out here to work hard every single day. It's just a real treat to be around them. Big names from last season's offense are back like Jake Hayner, Jordan Mims, and Jalen Cropper. You know, it was good. Uh, just trying to wrap up on a positive note and thought some guys are good. I thought I missed a couple throws here and there, but um, you know, with everything going on, it's, you know, it's, it's for the fans and you want to finish on a good note. I, I think this, man, we don't even know what we, we haven't even scratched the surface where we can, we were capable of. Um, I feel like Jake's improved. I feel like our receiver, our receiver room has improved. On the defensive side, names like David Perales and Evan Williams are ready for the new season and a new level of energy. Our major point of emphasis was just being that defense that's relentless, um, that's flying all over the field that when you're watching us, you can't help but say, damn, I mean, th th these guys do not stop. They, they fly to the ball. So The Fresno State football team has one goal in mind this year. Uh, only one goal. Number one goal, you know, Mount West Championship. That's the only goal I have in mind. Mark Anthony Lopez, Fresno State Focus. Fresno State football will now take the summer to rest up. The dogs return in August for fall camp. It was a big weekend for Fresno State defensive back and Modesto native Duran Bland. He was selected in the fifth round by the Dallas Cowboys. Bland was the only Fresno State player selected in the 2022 NFL Draft. The six foot, 197 pound corner impressed with his intangibles, posting a 4.46 40 yard dash. Bland will now bolster the Cowboys in their back end. So, Holden, with this draft, what are, you, what are you thinking? What are your takeaways? How do you feel? Well, first off, I just, I don't know how Malik Willis fell as far as he did. And the idea that Kenny Pickett was the first quarterback off the board is crazy to me. I just, I feel like they should have taken the chance on Malik Willis because you can see what can happen with raw talent in the NFL. Now you see what happened with Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. When they're in the right situation, they can turn into a great product. And the Steelers are a really stable franchise. So I'm a little thrown off on that one. But we did have a lot of Fresno State players end up on teams. One got drafted. We just talked about it. How do you feel about that? I, I'm excited for our guys. Fresno State, I'm biased, but Fresno State produces a lot of quality, quality players, and I think that all of these teams got some great ones. Personally, I'm most excited for Ronnie Rivers. Ronnie Rivers put in a lot of really hard work here at Fresno State. He was just a team player, and... He really helped this team push through a lot of success, and I wish him the best. I'm very excited for him and all he has in store. I definitely agree. When I, my first year here at Fresno, and I remember watching Ronnie play, I told all my friends, like, this dude's going to get drafted. Unfortunately, you know, he didn't get drafted, but he is getting his shot in the NFL with the Cardinals. And with him, Ronnie Rivers went to the Cardinals. Aaron Mosby signed as an undrafted free agent with the Panthers. Kevin Atkins signed as an undrafted free agent with the 49ers, just like Josh Hokett did a couple years ago. And Keyshawn Johnson's actually there now too, so they're all reuniting. Uh, and Carrick Wheatfall today just signed with the Eagles as an undrafted free agent. So it's good to see all of these Fresno State players getting their shot at the next level and showing that the Valley is for real and that we can produce NFL talent. I couldn't have said it better myself. And as always, it's a great day to be a dog. <laughs> the Diamond Dogs came up short against their rivals from the South, the Aztecs. The Dogs hosted San Diego State in a three-game series. Game one went to the Aztecs with a final score of eight to four. Game two went to the Diamond Dogs with a score of six to two. The weekend series came down to the final Sunday matchup with the Aztecs ultimately beating the Dogs eight to five. With these losses, the Diamond Dogs dropped their conference record to 11 and 10. Fresno State women's tennis season is over after a heartbreak in the second round of the Mountain West Tournament. The Bulldogs entered the tournament as the top seed but fell 4-3 to three to the 8th seeded Nevada Wolf Pack. Fresno State advanced to 20-4 and four on the season with the 11th 20-win season in program history. Coming up after the break, we take a look at the inspirational story of one of our very own Bulldogs, Leonardo Calamario. And we'll give you a recap of the NHL season. We are one Fresno State. 
a university that celebrates the bold excellence of our students. Our Bulldogs become your child's teacher, your family's health care provider, your leader, your problem solver, your hero. A degree from Fresno State opens minds and opens doors. This is where bold begins. I got the bold out spirit. Up in my head. Up in my head. Up in my head. I got that bold dog spirit. Up in my head. Up in my head to say. Deep in my heart, got that bulldog spirit. Deep in my heart, deep in my heart to stay. I got that bulldog spirit. Down in my toes, down in my toes, down in my toes. Got that bulldog spirit. Down in my toes, hey. Down in my toes to stay. I got that bulldog spirit. Up in my head, deep in my heart, down in my toes. I got that bulldog spirit. All over me, all over me to stay. Spirit. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. Deep in my heart. That, that bulldog spirit. Here in the valley, our colors are blue and our waves are red. Bulldog born and bulldog bred. Generations linked forever by traditions that have stood the test of time. Inside our stadiums, we are one. This is our valley. And this year, we're doing it for you. The Fresno State Men's Rugby Club are national champions for the first time in history. The Bulldogs beat the Eastern Regional Champion Kansas Jayhawks by a score of 22 to 17 to claim the American College Rugby's DIAA National Championship. Before this, they beat both San Diego State and Western Washington. This capped off the men's amazing season where they completed the regular season undefeated at 10-0. Leonardo Calamario, one of our very own Bulldogs, is a perfect representation of hard work and dedication. His journey from Brazil to the United States is truly inspirational. Alexis Molina has more for us. A ball, a dream, and courage are all a boy from Sao Paulo, Brazil had at the age of 10. Leonardo Calamario fell in love with basketball from the day he watched his older brother Lucas on the court. From that moment on, basketball has become his life. So we, our main idea since I was a kid, like my parents always like, okay, like we, we raise you guys to go to live a better life and a better future, in which it was a better life, a better future for me. Basketball, it was coming here in America. Colomario's family have always been his biggest support system. They always remind him that he can accomplish anything in life as long as he puts the work in. Me and my dad, especially, we talk about a lot about like distractions, opportunities. And they knew, like, we know, we knew that the best for me was just come here. Colomario soon found his new home in the United States at the age of 16 when he attended Wasatch High School in Utah. At guard, a 6'7 sophomore from Sao Paulo, Brazil, number 23, Leo Soon after, California State University Fresno became his new home. His transition from high school basketball to the collegiate level was not easy. Colomario struggled with being homesick and missing his family most of his freshman year. However, his teammates and coaches made sure to make him feel like he was a part of their family. Uh, you know, anybody who comes here, you know, we make them a part of family. So the guys who can't go home during holidays and stuff, we try to include them into everything and try to make it as friendly as possible because it's all brotherhood over here. Colomario found himself constantly working in the gym on his craft. Very quickly, he became a key factor to the team's defense and overall style of play. When we had him out there, the coaches trusted that he was going to do the right thing and make the right play, and he's developed as a really important piece in our, our team. Through all of the ups and downs he faced and the start of his collegiate career, Colomario kept in mind why he played the game, to create a better life for himself and to one day take care of his family. Courageous, passionate, and hardworking are three words that describe Colomario. With those traits, sky is the limit. In Fresno, Alexis Molina, Fresno State Focus. Colomario will be back in the Save Mart Center next season. The NBA Conference semifinals are in action. The Golden State Warriors were able to close out their first game of the semifinals against the Memphis Grizzlies. 
John Morant led all scorers, finishing with 34 points, 10 assists, and 9 rebounds. However, Klay Thompson hit a clutch three-pointer with 38 seconds left in the game, giving the Warriors the win with a final score of 117 to 116. In the East, the third seed Milwaukee Bucks were able to beat the second seed Boston Celtics for the final 108 to 89. The NHL regular season is in the books. For the first time in three years, each NHL team completed the full 82 game season with no interruptions from COVID. Teams this year were allowed to travel to and from Canada and divisions were set back to normal. The Florida Panthers won the President's Trophy, which goes to the team with the most regular season points. They had a league leading 122. The individual points leader and Art Roth's trophy winner was Connor McDavid. The Rocker Richard Trophy went to goal scoring leader Austin Matthews. Yeah, I'm uh, really happy that every team got to play their 82 games this season. Finally, after a couple of years, you know, COVID didn't let that happen. Um, it was a fun season. Um, I'm really more excited now of, uh, to see what the Stanley Cup playoffs uh, have to offer. With the regular season wrapped up, the four number one seeds are the Florida Panthers, Carolina Hurricanes, Calgary Flames, and Colorado Avalanche. The playoffs started earlier this week. Will someone finally dethrone the Tampa Bay Lightning and prevent them from a three-peat? We'll find out. All right, everybody, we took a little break, but we are back with some Fresno State top three plays of the week. I'm Holly Casina. Let's get right into it. We're going to start off with one of my all-time favorite things in sports, Eshawn Henderson, three-time Mountain West Pitcher of the Week, with a very quick snag, little jog over to first base, toss up to Ivan Luna to get the out. Quick thinking and quick hands from Henderson. Next up, we've got some work from Bailey Williams on the Fresno State softball team. Hard hit ball out to center. Center fielder just could not quite make the play. We've got one runner in, two runners in, three runners in, and Bailey Williams is sitting pretty at third base. Last but certainly not least, we have a solo bomb from Andrew Cachel in a midweek matchup against Cal Poly this last Tuesday. This was his second home run of the game and his 10th home run of the season. This guy has such a casual batting stance, but when he gets in the box, he is not there to play. And that concludes our final Fresno State Top 3 Plays of the Week. Thanks for sticking with us. It's been a great year. I'm Holly Casina, and as always, go dogs. And that is our final Focus on Sports show. For everyone here at Fresno State Focus, thank you for tuning in all throughout this semester. And until next time, go dogs.